sharing the podium with me this evening is my very good friend, well known to all of you, the President and Chief Executive of Itihad Airways, Mr. James Hogan, if I may request you to welcome him. And, and my colleague and our dynamic CEO on the left is Mr. Kramer Wall. Most of you know, especially the ladies, he's very charming with them. James, a long-term friend of media, uh, sorry, James, a long friend of India with a deep understanding of global and Indian aviation, is a globally renowned and respected aviation professional. He has transformed Itahad Airways into a successful worldwide aviation player that in 2004 recorded annual revenue of 7.6 billion US dollars. His keen insight, visionary, energetic leadership and focus on excellence have shaped the benefits not only for Itahad Airways but also for its various equity alliance partner airlines to their guests and their employees. In this strategic investment model that has given us the opportunity to work closely with Itahad Airways and other Itahad Airways partner airlines and enabling our guests to avail of various product and destination choices as well as offer greater stability and growth opportunities to our employees. James will no doubt indicate more details on this strategic equity alliance partnership while Kramer will give you the details of Jet Airways journey over the last one year. Nevertheless, let me take this opportunity of sharing with you a broad overview over the last year and the path ahead. When we met last year, I had indicated to you our plan to re-emerge as India's premier international airline with a single brand strategy reflecting across our entire business in delivery of our aircraft, in our product, service, offering and our free current flyer program. I'm truly, I'm truly delighted that this return to our heritage and original values has received the wholehearted approval and appreciation of our guests. Our Chief Executive Kramer and the entire Jet Airways team is committed to delivering this promise of a consistent and clearly discreditable full service brand. This single brand move bus aimed at providing our guests with a significant seamless enhanced service experience across all touch points in the air or on ground. Our core guest first approach to customer service and hospitality has received some very positive feedback from our guests and encouraged us to continue with single minded focus on delivering service excellence to our guests. Our strategic collaboration with Itahad Airways includes sharing of resources, co cooperative negotiations of our maintenance contracts, shared maintenance and training of pilots and cabin crew, product and system alignments, technology and knowledge transfer, including sharing our joint corporate and trade contracts. All of these have enabled us to leverage cost advantages and economies of scale to the eventual benefit of our guests and our employees. Our three-year roadmap to profitability includes network optimization, capacity and equipment rationalization, and a focus on enhanced cost efficiencies and service excellence across the board. The Jet Airways team has worked diligently on the key pillars of finance, operations, customer delight, and service excellence as part of Jet Airways' three-year turnaround strategy. I'm happy to report to you that it is due to this focus that Jet Airways has managed to halve its losses from last year and now working to be on track for three-year turnaround to profitability in 2017. Jet Airways International business has shown robust growth and revenues from our international business accounts for over 59% of the airline's total revenue 
enhanced domestic connectivity with the introduction of 31 flights in winter schedule of 2014 has further helped passengers' revenues to grow by 10.6%, cargo revenues too. Revenue passenger kilometer and seat factor have also shown a healthy growth. Last year, I had mentioned that both Itahad Airways and Jet Airways have a common long-term vision and commitment to, towards benefiting air travelers too, from and within India by providing them global connectivity and seamless travel options. This past year, we have collectively worked towards turning that vision into reality. On the international front, we have taken some concrete steps to progressively expand our operation through Abu Dhabi with the commencement of international operation from Lucknow, Goa, Ahmedabad, Pune and Mangalore to Abu Dhabi. Additionally, we have announced our international connectivity from our Mumbai and New Delhi hubs to our new destinations to Paris and Ho Chi Minh City. We have also introduced additional flights to Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Doha, and the MAM in the Gulf region. With 574 weekly return flights from 12 Indian cities, Jet Airways today operates more flights to the Gulf region than any other Indian carrier. Last year, I had also briefly touched upon enhancing our domestic destination footprint through our Mumbai and New Delhi hubs. I am happy to state that on this front too, Jet Airways has introduced 23 flights to and from the national capital to other key metros, Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities too. We have also introduced late night departures from New Delhi to Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Pune, Bengaluru and increased frequencies to Pune, Goa and Impal in the Northeast consistent with demand growth. Our two main hubs our two main home hubs at Mumbai and New Delhi will continue to be our key pillars of growth serving as central connecting points in our network. It has been our consistent endeavor to monitor the needs of the traffic and align our network to provide maximum connectivity within our own network as well as our interline code share partners networks. Through this mechanism, we have been able to transfer 35% of additional traffic at our prime hub, Mumbai, and 13% additional traffic at our other hub, New Delhi. In real terms, these percentages translate into overall 540,000 additional international guests connecting at Mumbai and New Delhi airports to various international and domestic destinations served by Jet Airways. In our quest to offer both choice and connectivity to our guests, Jet Airways has also added four code share partners in Air Berlin, Air Seychelles, Bangkok Airways and Vietnam Airlines, taking the total count of code share partners to 21. Through these partnerships, we have not only intensified our reach into the markets already served by us, but have made a presence in new markets. This has enabled us to enhance connectivity to over 87 destinations worldwide, giving travelers a significantly wider international flight options. We have carried 1.4 million guests of 14 lakh on account of our code share partners which is 85%, that is 640,000, 6,40,000 guests, higher than our previous year, code share carriage. Together with Itahad Airways, we now operate 4,300 international flights a month, more flights to and from India than any other airline, and provide our guests with an unparalleled global and domestic network, with perhaps the best and most convenient connectivity. I'm also very proud to state that we have relaunched our website and our mobile app around the theme designed to delight. A one-stop travel solution for guests, the all new website features, user-friendly navigation simplified and integrate, integrated booking processes and highly res responsive design. 
Above all, the new and improved website is the first aviation stroke airline website that caters to our different abled guests. Jet Airways also launched an all new self check in service on mobile devices, a first of its kind online feature that enables guests to access information on fares and flights status in a real time through Twitter. The Jet Privilege My Family Plus program allows members to connect and link their nominated family members accounts to a single My Family Plus account is one such example. All of this amply demonstrates our customer centric guest first approach, putting the guest at the heart of everything we do. On the national front, our Indian government stated policies and vision of make in India, electronic pre-travel authorization and visas on arrival will, will all undoubtedly go a long way in helping India enhance its global trade and tourism and this augurs well for jet airways. We trust the Indian government's new civil aviation pol uh, bill policy will address the challenges and attendant high input costs so that Indian aviation can once again be rebossed and healthy. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Indian government, the Ministry of Civil Aviation and the Director General of Civil Aviation for working cohesively toward restoring India's aviation safety status by the US Federal Aviation Administration, so-called FAA. Following the downgrade last year, this will help us crystallize our plans to fly to more destinations in the United States of America. I am also grateful to all other government ministries, departments for their continued support and cooperation. As an airline that con connects over 50 domestic points in India and offers more offers over 4,000 international flights either directly or seamlessly with our strategic partner. We are proud to be an enabler to the growing economic development of our country. All of us in the airline take pride in creating a winning Indian brand that profile profoundly flies our national flag, is globally recognized and continues to receive accolades internationally May I now invite my dear friend, Mr. James Hogan, to make his presentation, sir. Thank you, Naresh. You may remember last year when I was here, I talked about the cricket. After last week, with what happened in England with the Ashes, I'm not talking about cricket anymore. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure to be in India. James Rigney, my Chief Financial Officer, who's also a member of the Jet Airways Board, is with me. And it's probably apt that here we are holding an AGM on the start of the Indian Prime Minister's first, first visit in many years to the United Arab Emirates and our home, Abu Dhabi. The story, and in business, it is about a, a roadmap. It's how you build a relationship and how you position your respective brands. And that's the story behind Jet Airways and Etihad Airways. As you know, we acquired 24% of the business back in 2014, a significant investment to build a major strategic partnership with Jet Airways and for both airlines to develop an air bridge, not only between Abu Dhabi and India, but also to give Jet Airways the ability to operate direct to Europe, to Southeast Asia, and take advantage of their own network positioning. India, what a country. What a dynamic country. And obviously, as we see the opportunity in building our network, we see the opportunity of how we build our presence in your marketplace. Simultaneously, whilst we see the development here in India, we see the development in the United Arab Emirates of over 200 nationals living within the Emirates. Over 26,000 companies based in the UAE. And that relationship between the UAE and India continues to develop. And I have no doubt after the coming visit, 
the activities between the two countries will continue to accelerate. When you operate a global airline, you look at markets where you can position your aircraft. This is a long road. We don't enter a market on the premise of one year and pull out. We enter a market to stay there long term. So the economic indicators are fundamental. And when you look at the global forecasts and the challenges that we face as an industry, and we have to tackle economic, war, pandemic, competition, a whole range of factors that in most cases are outside our control as operators. So having a strong market economy and a travelling market is fundamental and that's what makes India so attractive. It's the ninth largest air passenger market in the world. It's an amazing figure. 101 million people travelling by air. 56 million domestically but it's an outbound market it is considerable. And certainly IATA sees the market continuing to grow. So the focus, not only on the domestic market of JET and how we work with JET to take advantage of the changing segmentation, of the opening of new cities, how we develop code share is fundamental. And as I said last year, JET from the start was our perfect partner. I've known Naresh many years. And not many entrepreneurs in the world have been able to establish a successful airline, to establish the domestic network, the infrastructure, to build a strong workforce and develop a following over so many years. And the ability to work with JET gives us the opportunity globally to tackle a market that is regarded as one of the most competitive, dynamic, and changing businesses. So you know, we provided fresh capital. We've been working over the past 12 months on strengthening network and connectivity. Connectivity, not only outbound India, but as importantly, inbound. Together, we learn from each other. We look for economies of scale, expertise in technology, and how we take away the risk of running an airline group together. And in that time, just 12 months, part of a three-year turnaround, we've certainly come a long way. As Naresh mentioned, the, the route network has certainly increased from Abu Dhabi into India. The ability to ensure not only Bombay and New Delhi, but a whole range of secondary cities are able to knit their network together with both Jet Airways aircraft and Etihad Airways aircraft operating into India. It's given us the opportunity to upscale from 320 aircraft, 330 aircraft, 777s, and we're also planning to bring our A380s into Bombay. So the opportunity to build a network together, develop a customer base together, is paying dividends. But as importantly is the global connectivity, the ability to bring people from all around the world into India, whether it's tourism, whether it's non-resident Indians, whether it's the ethnic markets, the ability for us to sell outline is key. And what you've seen over the past 12 months, where we used to fly what we call wingtip on top of each other, season by season we've reworked the network to enable both the airlines to utilise their assets more effectively, but more importantly, give the market, the Indian market, inbound and outbound, more choice. And certainly the, the connectivity through our partnerships all around the world, the ability over Abu Dhabi to feed the US with the US Customs Clearance, New York, Chicago, Washington, LA, San Francisco, Dallas, has worked very effectively for both airlines, inbound and outbound. And co-chairs, you know, the key to any network optimization is how you continue to optimize and build your network coverage. And with our equity partners, we're able to sell India from all around the world. As a group, the Etihad Group is now the fifth largest aviation group in the world. And I think one of the key statistics is when we did this deal, our competitors were very critical, saying enabling Etihad into this market would be at the detriment of 
the national carrier, that we will take business out and not bring business in. And in fact, we have brought in more business to India on our combined networks than we've taken out. So we've been able to stimulate the market, open up new markets, give the traveler choice to come direct from the US to India, over secondary cities of Europe to India, work with the directions he brings traffic in out of Southeast Asia, and that is the key to building a network, and it continues to grow, and you see that in Naresh's numbers, certainly in regard to the improving seed factors and average yields. As an airline, we've developed a partnership with other carriers, and it's the equity partners, and these are airlines where we've actually invested. We've invested and become a shareholder. The most recent one was Alitalia. And obviously, we all work together on network cooperation. So over Abu Dhabi today, two flights a day to Rome, two flights a day to Milan, daily flight to Venice, from Abu Dhabi to Berlin, to Dusseldorf, with the opportunity to sell into each other's systems and into cities where that direct coverage hasn't been there before. More importantly, from a consumer perspective, whether it's tour operators, travel trade, corporate accounts, it's one of the most competitive offerings of networks in the world. And you'll see the depth of that certainly when Kramer talks about his work with other airlines. We're very focused on passenger, as we're certainly focused on cargo. We have a major cargo hub in Abu Dhabi. We're building a cargo hub in Milan with Alitalia, and we're very focused how we develop cargo within the Indian market. We operate a freighter operation with Jet Airways. We're keen to see how we can base freighters within India and build that capacity, build that network between India, China, Europe, and of course, over Abu Dhabi. And that's great for Indian business. The ability to build a strong cargo operation is good for imports as well as exports. And what's really pleasing in the last 12 months is that combined, we're now the leader. We're the leading international airline partners out of India. Jet and Etihad combined overtook our nearest cam competitor. And what we've demonstrated is that working on a synchronized basis through network, through working commercial accounts, developing the brand, we can win together. And that certainly gives us the confidence that we can continue to grow our positioning. At the same time, we look at the ability to reduce our unit cost. With all those airlines, we purchase as one. As a group, we operate 700 aircraft. So when we talk to Rolls-Royce, to GE, when we talk to Panasonic, when we talk to Sabre, when we look at procurement of systems like SAP, we're able to come in as a collective and negotiate the lowest unit cost. And that's good for all of us. We can take advantage of best-in-class technology, we can take advantage of each other's systems, and as partners, we learn from each other. We learn from each other. It's about building success. And certainly, I believe we've demonstrated that. We've also cross-utilized aircraft. We currently have a Jet Airways aircraft that we've leased operating our second New York service from Abu Dhabi. We're using a Jet Airways aircraft on operating to San Francisco. We have 60 Jet Airways pilots currently working within Etihad Airways. We're building IT platforms together, We're developing loyalty propositions together, a whole range of business areas we're focusing on to improve efficiency, to improve cost, and as importantly, to improve seamless service. As an airline, as, as Etihad Airways in our own right, we employ nearly 200 Indians in India. In fact, of my workforce of 24,000 people, over 5,000 of my workforce are Indian nationals. Our expansion into India is strong. We invest in India. Every day we place aircraft into India, that's spend. Not only in carrying customers, in airport charges, in fuel, in services, in catering. And that spend continues to grow. Year one. Year one, the report card reads, it's been a good start. Aviation is a tough business. 
as I said at the start, no tougher. But the partnership is achieving traction. Is achieving traction. We're now the number one outbound airline, Jet and Etihad together. Inbound, we're in fact together bringing more business into India than we're generating outbound. So the balance of trade is strong. And that's great for the, for the Indian market. The rest is built with Kramer's building more choice domestically. Our networks combined are building more choice internationally. We're working now within the trade, look at how we can sell inbound India together. How can we help the made in India, the destination marketing campaigns stronger? We've seen progress. We certainly believe there's more that we can do. A lot of comments are made about this partnership. This is a partnership of equals. It's a partnership of equals. We're a 24% investor. We've invested in this business for the long term. We believe in the airline. We believe in Naresh. There's no extra strategy. And today, I'll finish as I started. It's a roadmap in business. There are many curves, many bends. You have to have flexibility. But there's no more dynamic market and we operate to 100 cities of the world, there's no more dynamic market than India. So once again, I look forward to seeing you next year. Maybe I can have a better story about the cricket then, but I'll appreciate you joining us this evening, and I'd like to hand over to Kramer to continue the story. Kramer. Thank you, James. A lot of material from both James and, and Mr. Goyle. I'd like to talk today about, to give you a snapshot of our business and tell you where we are so far and where we're going. Certainly, India represents strong growth and Kappa estimate that domestic passenger growth is around about 15% this year. International around approximately between 8 and 10%. Strong growth, but with challenges. The government's focus on GDP growth in India is clearly paying off. Good for airlines and good growth for airlines. However, we have our challenges. As the chairman mentioned, strong high input costs. The benefits of fuel have not fully been passed on to the aviation sector in India. And in fact, we pay between more 30% to 80% more in India than we do in other destinations around the world. And the aviation landscape in India is clearly changing. We see policy change develop, we see regulatory change, and that's good for aviation. So where do we sit? We are certainly, as Jet Airways, well positioned to take advantage. And the strength of Jet Airways, as we all know, lies in the brand. The brand that the chairman, Mr. Goyle, has built many, many years ago. And as James mentioned, not many entrepreneurs could do that in this world today. We are a network carrier. We are not just a domestic airline. We are proud of our domestic roots, and we invest in domestic, but we're a network carrier. And that means moving businesses, moving cargo into and out of India, as well as around India. We have a high quality product, and we are very proud to say that we are a full service carrier. We have a loyal customer base, and combined with that, a very committed and dedicated workforce. And I said this last year, and I say it again, I have never seen a workforce as committed as the Jet Airways workforce. So what about the plan? The pillars of our turnaround, the pillars of our success are driven around finance, operations, network product, the service, and of course the customer. And overlapping that is of course our people. Our financial improvement. The full financial year, we've halved the losses. Total revenues up 10%. We generated cash from operations and we are current in debt servicing. 
And I'll touch on the success so far. Operating performance, more passengers last year, almost 10% growth. Our load factors have improved almost 5, per 5 percentage points. Utilisation of our fleet across all the fleets, wide-bodied, narrow-bodied. We're flying our assets more efficiently. We increase capacity. More seats flying around comes with higher utilisation. What is core is our network. 51 domestic points, 22 international points. The ability to connect, the ability to deliver a global solution. 481 domestic flights per day, 138 international flights per day. It is a serious solution. And we're focused on all aspects, enhancing the connectivity in the key domestic hubs of Mumbai and Delhi by 14% and 22% respectively. A big focus on domestic. And I know that was a question last year. Are we forgetting about domestic? This demonstrates that domestic is very, very important to our business. New international growth, Ho Chi Minh City and Paris. Growth of our gateway in Abu Dhabi with the start-ups of Mangalore, Pune, Lucknow and Ahmedabad. And all this comes back to a global solution for our customers. Part of the global solution comes partners. And we now have 21 partners covering 87 destinations. Four new co-chairs introduced this year. Focus is on partnership. Major expansion of our partnership with Etihad. Carriage of 1.4 million guests this year with our partners. And what's interesting, with our partnerships, we offer guests over 1,200 flights a day. That is a global solution. The focus has also been on product. The investment in our product, refurbishment of our 737 aircraft, refreshing the aircraft, maintaining the aircraft so it's the best customer proposition. Our wide-bodied aircraft, investment in the product to make sure that the guests experience a high-quality product. The focus on service has been intense. The chairman mentioned one brand, and that is significant. Jet Airways that you all know, full service, high quality, and delivery at every touch point. For when you call up to make a booking, when you book on the website, when you arrive at the airport, when you walk on board, and when you get on board. Not only that, when you get off board. Loyalty, frequent flyers. It's a full service, high quality proposition. And we talk about the guest. And everywhere throughout our business, it's about guest first. That is customer first. Our training, our investment in the guest is intense. And we know we operate in a very competitive environment. And we are very proud to say that it's full service. It is high quality catering catering on every single flight. It is the opportunity for the guest to have value, to have full service and to have recognition through our reward program. <coughs> Customer recognition and rewards. So when you fly, you're recognised and you're rewarded. A partnership with Etihad is very important. And we've seen the customer embrace this. We've seen a surge in the bookings for the year of over 400%. So the customer is endorsing what we're doing. Global connectivity, product, rewards and recognition. We've delivered with the Etihad partners, three additional code share partners in Air Berlin, Alitalia and Air Seychelles. And the focus is all throughout the business. And as James mentioned, throughout engineering, throughout training, 
throughout sales, all throughout the business, the partnership is key to what we do. And we're delivering. The third quarter last year, we delivered our first profitable quarter in seven consecutive quarters. A big effort. The losses were halved in the full financial year. And we're very proud to say, we announced today, a profit of 226 crore. 188% improvement quarter on quarter. It's a big effort. But a lot more to be done. And it says that we're on track. 2015, reduce the losses was the plan. We presented this last year. This year, consolidate and focus and getting close to break even. Next year, in 17, deliver break even and more. But it's about delivery. And we can't deliver out of, without our people. Our people are our most important asset. The focus on the people is as intense as the customer. Bringing through the right people, training, development, learning. Because without the people, we cannot succeed. And it's important to conceptualise Jet Airways' importance to India as a major contributor to the economic growth of India. We mentioned before, 51 destinations domestically, 481 flights. Internationally, 138 flights a day. We employ 15,000 people, 6,000 contractors and the families. The catalytic impact of what we do is immense in India. 22.5 million passengers carried last year and growing. Over 200,000 tonnes of cargo supporting business, supporting the upcoming business, the growth of Make in India. Jet Airways is a very, very important contributor to the Indian story. And we're on a clear course to profitability. We're on track. Continuing growth across all parameters. An ongoing program to strengthen the balance sheet, make us financially sound. Identifying opportunities to increase efficiency every day, drive the cost down, improve efficiency, focus on the customer, guest first. And very important, very important. And I say this to Mr. Goyle and Mr. Hogan every day, it's about delivery. It's about delivery and delivering on our promises. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for those presentations. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard from our distinguished panel, and as we move into the next part of this evening, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank our viewers who joined us on the live webcast as we take their leave now.